Activity, Mark and the Geek Church here, and today we have part two of our Maker Side presentation. And today we've got this the Smart Robot Premium Scratch Junior. Oh, yeah. Uh, we're going to be opening this up and trying this out right after this. You didn't catch our last show in Maker Zone? Shame on you. No, I'm just kidding. You can watch it. It's, it's uh, and honestly, if you didn't watch it, I don't really think you would be too lost in this. Obviously, Maker Zone is all about Steam, in other words, making these creations. So, younger minds, let's just assume younger. Although, you know what? I mean, shoot, I want to, I want to get into this. Uh, can try this out and make creations of their own. Uh, spoiler alert for part one, uh, these Makerzoid parts are pretty much um, Lego. They're compatible with Lego. Uh, they don't have the Lego uh, logo on the uh, stud, uh, that is the bumpy part, but they do have their own logo on that, so kudos. Okay, this is a programmable uh, coding kit, and I just so happen to have uh, the program loaded on the smartphone. So today I want to make something out of this. Something that I can program and maybe get more into the programming of this. I didn't really uh, do that last time. I just kind of already used their pre-programmed controller uh, to make something. And um, assuming I don't edit that video uh, more, because let's put it this way. When I make these videos, uh, editing is the last thing I do. And sometimes I don't even know it's going to turn out. Uh, but shoot, this is like an unboxing thing. Shouldn't we get to the unboxing? The last uh, unboxing I had, I mean, actually had a box around it. This thing just kind of has this sort of, uh, I don't even know how to describe this, this sort of Rubbermaid tote thing going on here. So, uh, this thing just comes right off. Is this? Yep. Okay. Comes completely off. And here, okay, so we've got, uh, oh, okay. And we have the parts list here, and it looks like... I'm guessing there's probably more parts here than the last one, but I could be wrong. And this thing starts out with this tray here, and I think it's kind of interesting. A lot of these tray things are empty, so I'm guessing you're probably going to refill that here. Um, so let's see what off the, uh, off the top we have this handle here, which I think is interesting. This looks like a sensor, and I definitely want to create something with this. Uh, part today because uh, the other one that I did in part one had sensors, I never used them, so that kind of feels like a, it's like a non fire checkoffs gun for crying out loud. Uh, then we have this thing is this kind of a piece remover? I know Lego has something like this, it looks uh, uh, very interesting. I've never really seen anything like that. And then a bunch of rubber bands and strings, so we're really getting into this. These look like tank treads. Uh, Lego has something very similar to this. So it looks like you can make some tank treads here. This looks appears to be some sort of engine. And we're guessing that we're going to uh, have some sort of host CPU bot because... Oh! Okay. Uh, I think we have a Bluetooth motor. And that's about it. The issue is... Um, what is the power source? You know what, let's take, take a closer look, shall we? Okay, I'm seeing a on and off switch, but if this is a motor and you can power it, it's definitely going to need some sort of a power source of some type. Okay, so let's get out of the tray here and have this with the manual. Now I want to see the manual here is probably going to tell us how to build a few things, but not too many things. Okay, there's an app in there. This just in, I found out how to get the batteries in there. There's a place for two AAA batteries, and uh, that's how this is powered. So now I'm going to get some AAA batteries. No problem. I think I got a feed around here. Okay, much of the instruction booklet it talks about how the uh, motor works, which I think is really important here. Because if you really get good with uh, um, any sort of construction toy, motors become a really essential part here. There's also stuff about the IR sensor, and I think I'm going to need to get more into that. Okay, there's even some nice map of like the parts and how they're organized. I really like. I might. I might want to use this in my book. I can't because of copyright. Alright. 
Huh. Okay, this... Okay, I'm spending way too much time on this instruction here. So, yeah. Um, okay, there's this uh, thing for an intelligent car. This might be what I'm actually going to build. But I'm going to check out on the app what would be the best for me to build. Oh, man, but I haven't even discussed the pieces in here. Oh, man. That's crazy. So we got some uh, connector pegs and axles. Now, these might be different names that they call them. Um, some connectors and stuff like that. I got some eyes on here. And I got some uh, other parts. Um, unlike the other ones, I kind of feel like these parts aren't really organized like the other ones were. Because Lego um, pieces, they tend to have a certain way, like especially with Lego Technic, they have beams, axles, gears, stuff like that. I'm not really seeing that type of organization here. Things are just kind of thrown in there, so it might be very difficult to find a certain piece. Unless, it'd be really cool if these were just set up like for, for project, which I like the, the idea of. But there's going to be a lot of inner, um, inner changes. Ah, they have a worm gear, or something that I thought this thing wouldn't have. They used to have a lot of things that are similar to Lego, and yeah, I'm just going to say it because, yeah. And they also have more pastels in with uh, colors here. The uh, light blues and light pink stuff. Liking it. Okay, so what am I going to build here? Well, I got the uh, thing here on the app. So what I have to do is find it. Okay. I found the smart uh, premium uh, thing. So yeah. So, okay, so what am I going to do? So there's a lot of things, like uh, there's rope skipping, electrical machine, oh shoot, uh, which is there on this? Is this a thing like this? Oh my gosh, I didn't realize this, but I actually think that there are, I think when I was doing the uh, previous one, I just read aloud just a bunch of stuff, but I'm actually getting the feeling like this has a bunch of stuff in it. Hmm. So, uh, okay, because the categories include like just uh, basic structure, um, gear wheel, so we got gears, which I'm not surprised. Music, you can actually make things that do music, which is kind of cool. Um, there's agriculture, so you can make like a, a harvester and a rice seller, farmer. Whoa, geez. Uh, there's one of training. You can make these skill. You make this guy here exercise. So ah, then there's the programming robot, which we have to do. Okay, there's a basic car. Uh, I'm gonna need to build this one. I can tell. So I'm just gonna go with that. And then we've got intelligent robots, electric machinery, electric animals. And we have a space series. It's just so much here. They have an X fighter. It looks like an X-Men fighter, and yeah, But you want to get to see it? The last time I did this, I think I tried to like build a thing and then I just left the camera running and I just realized like, you know, even in fast motion, it's gonna be pretty boring. So I'm just gonna make something and you're just gonna see it. Okay, as you can see, I put this uh, car together here. Um, not very stable, I must say. However, I am able to take control of it with this particular thing. These things are like coated blocks and they can do things when you put them together. It's actually kind of interesting. And I believe it operates uh, when you hit this green flag here. Yeah. But basically it's uh, designed to move forward, which unfortunately since this only has power in its front wheels, it can't steer like the last car that I was uh, talking about in part one of this interview. Uh, I could probably rearrange it here. That would, of course, take some time. Also, uh, I discovered that um, I had some AA batteries or AAA batteries that I couldn't figure out how to use. So I had to steal them from a TV remote, um, which honestly, now I'm going to have to take this apart just to get to uh, my batteries when I want to watch TV later. So that's a funny little story. 
Okay, we're gonna go into more details in parts uh, three and four of this thing. Um, I just want you to know that this is available for a very low price, $64.90. I swear, and like I said before, you need to get so much, so little Technic pieces uh, with $64.90 on the LEGO site. So my suggestion is, if you really want to just start taking control of stuff. Also, I found out later when I was writing my LEGO books that LEGO has discontinued uh, the uh, Mindstorm series. So creating these intelligent creations, um, I don't know really happen anymore. So yeah, that's a thing that happens. So yeah, we're gonna get to part three of this thing. Um, maybe it's up now and you can watch it. But for now, this is Mark Rollins from Geek Church signing.